And you're very welcome here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala for this under 19B Boys All Ireland School League final between St. Paul Secondary School of Uchtarard and Colossia Ida Agus Yosef of Abbey Field. St. Paul's Uchtarard in the maroon playing from left to right in, on your screens. And eight minute quarters we have here at the National Arena for this game as St. Paul's moving the ball around. Paul Kelly at the top of the key. Such an impressive young player for Uchtarard and indeed recently selected on Paul Kelleher's under 18 international panel as well. Good defense there from Uchtarard, sees Kelly drive to the basket, it doesn't go for him though. And Abby Field almost got it back up their side of the court, but it's gone out of play and it's gonna be a sideline ball. I'm joined here by Connor Meany. Connor, this is set to be a good battle. Yeah, it looks like it's an interesting one so far. Uh, Abby Field have uh, started out in a box of one to try and limit Paul Kelly, who was very dominant in the cup final or the school's cup final a couple of weeks ago. So it's an interesting tactic. He's obviously one of the top players in the country, so if they can limit him. It'll give them a chance to be competitive. And Abby Feel with the steal. And he draws the foul, McNulty that is, and he'll be heading to the free throw line. Looking to get the first score of this game. He just comes up short there on both free throws. And a quick reach in foul there. So both teams are just trying to sell themselves into the game here. Again, this box and one defense from Abby Feel. Eric McNulty there is the one who's having to guard Paul Kelly. So that'll be a big job for him. He's face guarding him. And let's see how St. Paul's deal with this. And a shot clock violation there, Mary. It's interesting there for a lot of that offense. Paul Kelly was just kind of standing out on the wing. He's being face guarded, so it'll be interesting to see what they do against that box of one. Yeah, most definitely Abby Feel on the attack now. The long shot from outside. Doesn't go though, and good rebounding inside from Carl Walsh. Gives it out to Paul Kelly. And he drives through again, it just doesn't fall though, and Keen Monaghan sets things back up for Uchtarard. Looking for options inside on the baseline. Nice steal there by Paul Kelly. Pushes the ball down the court in transition. Gets all the way to the basket. That's going to be really big there for St. Paul's. If they can get stops and out and run, it allows, or it stops Abbey Field from being able to set up that defense and it lets Paul be a little bit more aggressive. And there's a timeout here early for St. Paul's as they try and set up a strategy against this box and one defense.
fight him yesterday, did he? No, Jez came up from this place, so I rang Dave last night for the match. Okay. And Dave was like, we're getting up with some of our commentators. Like, Jason's like 6 foot 10, so I can't hear what Jason's saying. I'm 6 foot 1, it's a shock that she can <laughs> Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala. 5.24 left in this opening first quarter. Yet to register a score on the board, but Paul Kelly on the free throw line looking to rectify that. Misses the first. And the second one is good. Shout out there to James Fleming, who got in touch with us there to say he's watching the stream. Hope you're doing well, James. And it's gone out of bounds there for an Abbey field ball. Nice pass in and a good opening score there from Dan Kenny. Two points to one. As St. Paul's Keen Monaghan outside to Alan Kelly. It's going out for a St. Paul's ball. Kelly onto the left, pops it back outside to Carl Walsh, and a lovely score from Walsh. Teams starting to find their feet here, Connor. Yeah, it's a little bit better there. One of the things of running a box and one defense against St. Paul's is that Paul Kelly's a very willing passer as well, and guys around him can score, so that's the danger of doing it. A lovely move there between Paul Kelly, Alan Kelly and Ryan Monaghan for St. Paul's to give them a three point margin. 4.08 on the clock here in this opening quarter. Nice move there by Dan Kenny. Pops it outside to Joseph O'Flaherty who finishes well to the basket for Abbey Field, but replied to immediately at the other end by Alan Kelly. Sorry, I'm getting names mixed up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's St. Paul's are doing really well when they're able to push it out on the break, so it's going to be big for Abbey Field to keep getting back. That's a lovely pass inside, though, and a lovely oh, basket. Great score there by Tyg. But again, frantic pace back up to the other end. Paul Kelly a driving, driving strong. And a timeout's been called here with 3.26 to go in this opening quarter. Three twenty-six on the clock here in this opening quarter of the under nineteen B boys All Ireland League final and Paul Kelly is going to be headed to the free throw line for St. Paul's Uchtarard to try and widen that gap to four points. And it drops for him. So 
St. Paul's leading 10 points to six here. As Abby Fields, Adam Maynard comes back on the attack. Ty Callahan across to DJ Stack. Outside to McNulty and Maynard. Tough long shot there from McNulty and St. Paul's or Gerard pick up the loose ball. And Ryan Monaghan looks for options, finds it in Cahill Walsh. Back to Monaghan. Alan Kelly called for it, got it, and Paul Kelly with the jump shot. Oh, lovely score there from Paul Kelly. Yeah, lovely basket by Paul there. He's doing a good job of not getting frustrated, having a guy face guard him the entire time and still is able to get a shot off. Jared Maloney. Abby Field moving the ball around well as Maynard tries to sneak through, but Paul Kelly was there to stop him and a great pass up to Allen, but just didn't finish. Yeah, Abby Field are struggling a little bit against that zone from St. Paul's. They, you want to just keep seeing them get the ball inside to Jerry Maloney as much as possible and then work from there back outwards, but we'll see if they can get a, a score in the next couple of plays. Alan Kelly outside to Cahill Walsh. Rebounded well though by Jared Maloney of Abbey Field and he sends DJ Stack on the run. McNulty back inside to Maloney who does well there under pressure. He can't finish though. And Mark McCarthy under pressure from Alan Kelly gets the bucket and will be going to the free throw line for the bonus. The Abbey Field fist pump game is on point already as well, which is pretty <laughs> good. You must start bringing it into your own game, Connor. If I did anything worth doing it, I do, would. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Kelly. Uh, nice link up play there with Ryan Monaghan. Comes out side to Alan Kelly. And St. Paul's have it back again. Monaghan to Paul Kelly. He uses the screen and takes the long three. Doesn't come off for him though. And Abby Field at pace with Maynard. Draws the foul. And that looks like Paul Kelly who's drawn that foul. Yeah. Second foul I would. Coach Dermot Lee is a little bit perplexed down on the sideline as to what that was for. It didn't seem to be much there. That could be very big, Paul's second foul. We, you'd expect Paul to be smart enough to be able to play through a bit of foul trouble. Maynard misses the first. And the second one doesn't go either, so Carl Walsh picks up the rebound to Keane Monaghan. St. Paul's trying to find that space. They do so, but Walsh just couldn't finish there. 103 on the clock in this opening quarter. Good interception there from Ali Ke Alan Kelly. Feeds Paul Kelly, who drives all the way. as we tick towards the 42nd mark. Nice move here by Abby Field. St. Paul's just couldn't keep it in play there though, so it's gone out for an Abby Field ball. Abby Field have to look to Jared Maloney here though inside if they can. Oh, lovely score there by DJ Stack with 31 seconds. Four point game. St. Paul's looking to get one. Another score before the buzzer. 
Paul Kelly with the long shot. Doesn't have enough legs on it though, but good rebounding and it's St. Paul's again and Paul Kelly. And it's Abby Field with 11 seconds on the clock in quarter one. Maynard's calling first. And it's gone back to Gerard and oh, unlucky there for Cahill Walsh. Good vision by Paul Kelly to, to pick him out there on the baseline. Foul is called and Abby Field will have time to inbound this ball and then it will be end of quarter. They're making a mistake here. It's not actually two free throws. That was the fourth team foul. So it's actually just going to be an inbound and there isn't enough time on the clock. So the first quarter is going to end 14-10. Once they inbound the ball here, the clock will go off. And that's it. That's the end of the first quarter. St. Paul's leading 14 points to 10. And it is quarter two here in this under 19 B boys All Ireland School League final between Abbey Field and St. Paul's Uchtarards. That's Kalasha Ida, August Yosef of Abbey Field. St. Paul's leading 14 10. What did you make of that opening quarter, Connor? Yeah, it's a little bit uh, rushed. We can often happen at in the National Basketball Arena when you come up here and aren't used to playing. And Paul Kelly's been the difference so far with eight points. There's 10. That's his 10th point of the game. He has that extra little bit of class um, and he was huge in the in the school's cup final, as we said before, but Abby Field have been doing a good job when it's in the half court, but it's just anytime it's in transition, they're struggling a little bit. Abby Field with the score, Mark McCarthy closing the gap back to four. As Paul Kelly with a huge long three. And there you go, that's what he can do, Connor. Yeah, he's now outscored the Abbey Field team 13 12, and that's with a box of one focusing all their attention on him. So, DJ Stack attempting to reply at the other end. It doesn't fall for him, though, and there's a foul called against Abbey Field. It's going out for a St. Paul's ball. Paul Kelly at pace. Kelly looking for options, finds it with Ryan Monaghan who takes the shot, just drops short. Keen Monaghan just wasn't able to keep that in play. And we're gone back out for an Abbey field ball. Good defense again by St. Paul's, but Abby Feel win it back, and Maloney gets the score. Don't forget, this is just game one of three games today. We're gonna follow this up at one o'clock with the under 16B girls final between Presentation Secondary School of Tralee County Kerry against St. Paul's Uchtarard of County Galway. And that's going to be followed at 
by a refixture of the Subway Schools Cup final under 19 C boys between St. Brendan's, Belmullish, County Mayo, and St. Column Kills, Knock Line, who, of course, lost out that thrilling final yesterday in the girls' final to Gortner Abbey. So, all of these games will be shown across our YouTube channel, and you can find all the links on our website, basketballireland.ie, as your precious court boards, Connor, are after getting a bit of. Bit of a, a knock. Yeah, he went through it like it was wrestling and he went through a table. It was unbelievable. <laughs> of course, we'd like to thank Moulton for all their support. <laughs> <laughs> the physio has gone out to fix the board, of course. Go, Mora. <laughs> In the meantime, back to on the court. They're doing uh, a good job, to be fair, of fixing those signs yeah, up for you. Yeah. It is 5.37 to play. Mora does a very underrated job here at all these finals, Mary, of She course. does indeed. And is, of course, the Ireland Senior Women's Team Physio as well. Looking forward Ooh. to that championships in June in County Cork, Maradike Arena, UCC. Lovely segue. Thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Abby Feel on the break. Oh, not in my house, says Paul Kelly. Great block on McNulty there with the long pass from Maynard to find him. Abby Feel and Maloney. That drops short and somehow. Keane Monaghan plucked the rebound out of the air. Oh. Found Paul Kelly. And there we go. Yeah, this is the fear for Niall Toomey uh, on the Abbeyfield sideline that this could happen, that Paul could kind of get explosive. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely move there from St. Paul's. Matthew Tierney finishing that team move up the court. And again, good hands there from Maynard. Lovely pass inside to Maloney. Again, good defense from Keane Monaghan. And we are headed for a timeout. Abby Field calling the timeout with 4.30 to go in this quarter two. Four thirty to go in this second quarter of the under nineteen B boys All Ireland School Leagues final. And it is St. Paul's Uchtarard and indeed Paul Kelly who is leading the charge here for the tribesmen. Yeah. Abby feel need to get a couple of these free throws ideally. Just keep that scoreboard ticking over. But one of the things you'd like to see is just keep putting pressure on Paul Kelly. There, he's got those two fouls. He's sitting in the middle of that zone, and 
if you can go at him and hopefully draw that third foul, it could change the complexion of the game. Yeah, Maynard with the first one. And makes it two from two. Paul Kelly, of course, as you said already, Connor, no stranger to these big games. And he was, of course, featured on that Moy Cullen under 20 team who had the National Cup final here in January against Cubs. And what a game that was. Cubs managing to win out by two or three in the end. But a huge comeback from Moy Cullen that day as well. So he's been one of the more ex exciting players to watch this season. Gone out of bounds there for a St. Paul's ball. Kelly getting put under pressure by McNulty. Still manages to get the shot off and Maloney does very well there. And a great move up the court. And DJ Stack finishes. DJ Stack doing some great running for Abbey Field today. He's always up the court first. Always ready for that long pass or McNulty rather, as Kelly again goes baseline. Well, Mary, even though Paul has scored whatever, about 15 so far, it's still only just a five point game and three minutes to go in this half. Abby Feeler still right there. Oh, McNulty again. Two in a row from McNulty, showing his speed once more. And just as you say it, Connor, it's gone back to a three-point game. Alan Kelly, bounce goes a little bit high on him though. But they win it back and it's popped outside here to Ryan Monaghan. Great battling there, another offensive rebound for St. Paul's and they'll be going to the line for that one now as well. McNulty definitely working very hard there, Connor, for Abbey Field, though, as we see him marking Paul Kelly wherever he goes. And then he's getting free so well himself at the other end. Yeah, himself and DJ Stack, the two guards, are doing very well, getting up and down the floor, being aggressive. But uh, they've dragged themselves right back into this game. And Maynard, of course, with the vision to get those passes up the court as well as... Ryan Monaghan bags at the first free throw. Misses the second, but again, it's good rebounding from Cahill Walsh. And yeah, Cahill just turns the ball over there, but. <laughs> it's the likes of uh, Alan Kelly and Cahill Walsh, so for St. Paul's, that would be crucial. If they can keep picking up a little scores, it, it takes that pressure off Paul as well to having to score as much. Great work here by Mark McCarthy. Under the boards and almost got a, a good hand there to intercept a pass, a cross court pass from St. Paul's as well. Even though he's battling a bit of a height difference there as well. He's doing extremely Short well. Short clock violation is on its way. Yeah. You could see they were taken out of their comfort zone there. They weren't really sure what they were doing. And you could see that shot clock coming, violation coming about 10 seconds early. 1.55 on the clock here in quarter two. Maloney to Maynard. Maloney again, lovely pass back out to Maynard who takes it on himself. Just had a little bit too much on it. And Mark McCarthy again doing so well under the boards, but it finishes with Maloney drawing the foul. Yeah, great job rebounding there inside. And we are headed for a timeout courtesy of St. Paul's as with 1.39 on the clock in quarter two.
139 to go here in this second quarter of the under 19B All Ireland School League's final. And it is Jared Maloney on the free throw line for Kalosh Ida Agus Yosef. Misses the first. Second one's good though. Much to the delight of the large supporting crowd here from Abbey Field. As Paul Kelly again, so dangerous, driving through. Draws the foul against McNulty. If you're Abbey Field though, <laughs> If it's early, if it's if you're not in team fouls and every single foul to Paul Kelly ends with him tumbling along the ground, you're actually not that. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, that is a third foul on McNulty though, and he's doing a good job on Paul Kelly. So it'd be a big loss if he is to leave the game. Kelly though sidesteps nicely through. 1.09 on the clock here. Maynard again goes baseline. Seems to be his favoured move. Maloney does well to keep it in play. And back with Paul Kelly. Again, McNulty almost gets a hand to it. Walsh to Kelly, comes back outside. And a good score from Ty Callanan. That's a killer. Or from Absolute Matthew killer Tierney, for rather. Field. Yeah, tough, tough shot to give up a bank three. 30 seconds ago, all of a sudden it's back out to an eight point game. So this is a big offense. And they do it, and they do it well. Yeah, one possession here now with only 16 seconds to go on the clock, so. It's a big stop here for Abbey Field. They don't want to pick up a silly uh, foul. Kelly goes for the long shot. Oh! What a score. And that is the last score of this half as we go in at halftime with St. Paul's after that huge finishing score leading 32 to 23.
Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala, where quarter three is about to get underway in the under-19B Boys All-Ireland School League's final between St. Paul's of Uchtarard and Kalosh to Ida August Yosef of Abbey Field. St. Paul's leading the way. 32-23, Connor, but that second quarter was a much closer affair than the scoreline reflects. Yeah, Abbey Field did really well, and then it was just a couple of big baskets down the stretch there for St. Paul's open up the lead again. A couple of things to watch out for here. It's, you've already seen on that first defense that it's now Adam Maynard who's the one who's matching up with Paul Kelly. So obviously the four fouls for Rick McNulty was a concern there. Nice move inside. Oh, seemed a bit soft again, maybe. Oh, that's a huge call. That puts Paul Kelly onto his third foul. Yeah, the, the thing we were saying was we wanted to see Jared Maloney keep going at Paul if possible, to see if he could draw that foul. So that could potentially be a big foul. And he banks in the free throw as well. Paul Kelly, of course, with 22 points of St. Paul's 32. And he steps there on the baseline, so. Maynard on the point here for Abbey Field. Across to McNulty. Comes back out to McNulty. They find Maloney inside. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Fabulous. Great work there by Abbey Field. Dara Maloney drawing in the defenders and getting it outside then to Maynard for that long shot. Yeah, great start to the second half by Abbey Field. And Again, a turnover there from St. Paul's. Who are a little bit rattled here that they thought they might have opened up that lead and pushed it out further, but Abbey Field aren't going to go anywhere. Abbey Field again just falls a bit short there for DJ. As St. Paul's. Oh, a lovely pass inside to Alan Kelly, but he just couldn't finish. And Abby Field again come out. McNulty now gives it to Maynard across to Stack. Passing it between them. Nice ball movement here from Abby Field. Maloney doing well to get that rebound. And Mark McCarthy, who has been a very bright spark here for Abbey Field, draws the foul. Which is going to be going to the free throw line. And yeah, that is a, a third foul as well for Keen Monaghan of St. Paul's. Yeah, Abbey Field are doing a great job rebounding. They've got a couple of lovely uh, athletes. Mark McCarthy did a great job there, skying for a rebound. So. These are two big free throws. First one's good. Two from two. And all of a sudden, it is a two point game. 6.04 on the clock. Again, good ball movement here by St. Paul's. A brilliant defense from Abbey Field. Keeping them outside. Comes back out to Paul Kelly. He goes for that long three. It doesn't drop. But Keen Monaghan has been super under the boards for St. Paul's today. And picks up that offensive board again. Kelly finishes this time. And it was a much needed score there for St. Paul's, Connor, just to edge them back ahead a bit more. Yeah, it was a tough shot, but he, he's really good at those mid-range shots. Oh, responded to immediately by McNulty. 
Yeah, what, one of the things you could see there was with the two guys, uh, Paul and uh, and Kim on him both on three fouls, neither of them wanted to really contest that. Oh, boom! Ryan Monaghan with a fantastic score there. 32-37 with 4.58 on the clock. Yeah, that could be really big. Maynard. Maloney is there to pick up the rebound. And again, it's Mark McCarthy of Abbey Field as St. Paul's at the other end punish them immediately. Matthew Tierney finishing well to the basket. Yeah, Abbey Field were delighted. They got a nice basket inside. The fist bumps were happening, but they need to get back on defense because St. Paul's will push the ball down and score straight away back on you. Maynard, it doesn't fall for him, and Paul Kelly, Kelly manages to keep a hand on that and drives all the way, gives it off to Ryan Monaghan, and he'll be going for the and one. And St. Paul's have widened that gap up once more, 34-41. Yeah, Ryan Monaghan has been huge in the last couple of minutes couple of big baskets, exactly what St. Paul's needed. And he gets the bonus. We're back to an eight point game. That's been the story for the last 10 or so minutes of the game. Every time that Abby Feel have had a little bit of a run, St. Paul's have found an answer. And it hasn't always been through Paul Kelly. Different people are stepping up and hitting shots, which is really big. And we are headed for a timeout with 3.50 to go here in quarter three. Three fifty to go here in quarter three in this under nineteen B boys final. And as you said, Connor, St. Paul's just managed to stretch it out every time Abbey Field come back within two or three. St. Paul's just have enough to push it back out. Yeah, they they've done a good job. The St. Paul's crowd are getting into a little bit more. The Abbey Field crowd have been fantastic all day long. Alan Kelly doing super work there to get the ball back. For St. Paul's. That shot doesn't drop though, and Abby Feel on the break. Paul Kelly with the interception though. And at pace. Ryan Monaghan unlucky not to finish there. Oh. As at the other end, Abby Feel are called for the foul. A tough call there on Abby Feel. What's your look? And St. Paul's. Looking to find a bit of space for a vital score, and Alan Kelly does so in style. The co captain here leading the charge. A 10 point game, 2.48 on the clock. They're the sort of swings, so in these finals, you go down one end, have a chance to get a layup, you get called for an offensive foul, and then down the other end, the other team scores an easy layup. Kelly weaving his way 
around the key. Goes to take it on. Comes back all the way around to Ryan Monaghan. And that shot falls short. So we'll be back in the hands of Abbey Field with 2.23 on the clock. Maynard. Maloney's inside. Alan Kelly again. Brilliant as Paul Kelly behind his back and finishes to the basket. He's a lovely player to watch. He can score in so many different ways and he always has his head up. He can see everything on the court. It's, he's really going to be a lovely player. As another bright spark of the day, Mark McCarthy finishes there. Paul, of course, on still so young, Connor as well. He was on Pat Price's under 16 international team last year. And just scored another three pointer. Yeah, he's. The, the, the thing about him is that, like, Abby Field were obviously preparing for him today as well, and yet he's still coming out and just putting on a show, which is great to see. DJ Stack responding there for Abby Field, 114 to go. A lot of very good young talent here on the court. Bodes well for the future of Irish basketball. Monaghan just couldn't get that one to drop, but Tierney comes back out with it. And foul is called against Ryan Monaghan. Yeah, so anytime that St. Paul's have built up this lead, 10 or 11 points, I'd be feeling I've had a response, so. Just under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Let's see if they can get a basket or two to get it back close. McCarthy. Oh, a great, great link up play between McCarthy and Stachter. Kelly at the other end, meanwhile, has Maynard. Oh, <laughs> what a score. 16 seconds to go. <laughs> what do you really say when uh, yeah. say you kind of do that all the time? And he's not shooting that many bad shots either, which is the incredible thing when you watch them. Four, Four seconds, seconds here, big shot. And a good block. Kelly was going to chance it, but he didn't. As at the end of quarter three, St. Paul's lead 52 to 40. And it is fourth quarter time here at the National Basketball Arena in Tala. St. Paul's Uchtarard leading Kalosh Ida August Yosef of Abbey Field by 52 points to 40 in this under 19 B Boys All Ireland League final. A much, a very close third quarter there. Just three points between the teams in that third quarter. St. Paul's outscoring Abbey Field by 20 points to 17. But uh, definitely one of the closest quarters of the game. And some great scoring from both teams. 
to be getting big numbers like that up in the third quarter as Paul Kelly didn't have enough legs on it that time though. And Abby Field with the rebound. Maynard, Maloney. Again, good work under the boards and Keane Monaghan battling hard there for St. Paul's. Comes out to Paul Kelly, he's got two on him. McNulty trying to defend there as the shot goes up from Tierney. Maynard, meanwhile, on the break for Abby Field. Has support with him if he needs it, but that comes off at the bottom of the glass. A bit of a frantic pace starts to this quarter. And a good score there from St. Paul's and Ryan Monaghan. Yeah, we feel they're going to need a big response in the next minute or two if they're going to stay in this game. It's a 14-point game at the moment. That just doesn't go. And St. Paul's are on the break here. Lovely, lovely interplay from Paul Kelly up to Tierney and finished off well by Monaghan. And this is very similar to what happened in the Subway Schools Cup final is that Paul Kelly hit a lot of shots and then St. Paul's do a great job of running the fast break once they get up on the team and they're doing a great job of that again today. And of course, their ladies team are contesting the next final as well due to tip off at one o'clock today which we will also be streaming live on the basketball ireland youtube channel for all of you guys who weren't able to make it up to the arena this afternoon brian monaghan has been fantastic for St. Paul's. That one didn't go for him though. And DJ Stack, meanwhile, at the other end for Abbey Field. Finds McNulty. Inside to Maloney. Out to Maynard. He's knocked down a few of those big shots today, but that one didn't fall for him. And it's gone out for an Uthard ball. Yeah, Abbey Field are running out of options a little bit here. They just haven't been able to knock down enough outside shots against that zone. They've done a good job rebounding overall, but it's allowed St. Paul's to kind of rebound and run at them. And then on the other end, of course, Paul Kelly is different gravy, really. Yeah, most definitely. It's, uh, I think Paul kind of got overlooked a little bit in the Schools Cup finals that if CJ Fulton and Claire Bracken hadn't gone a little bit mad on the last day, everyone would have been talking about his performance in the under-19 B schools final. And he's commanded this game again here today. It is fantastic though, with so many of these young Irish stars coming up and putting on huge performances in these games. Another offensive foul there, which is the fourth foul on Kia Monaghan. 4.38 to go here in this fourth quarter. As Abby Field. A long, long shot there from DJ Stack. And it goes out of play, and it's going to be a Uthrard ball. It has to be said though, Mary, as well, that like if you're from Class E, Douglas Yosef, and watching back in the school, that the, the students today have been absolutely amazing up here in the arena, have added a huge amount, as have the St. Paul's Uther Art uh, supporters, that they're adding a lot of colour and noise to the arena, and it's fantastic. Yeah, no, definitely. Support here has been fantastic this morning. And a credit to the school for sending such big numbers up here to support their team. But in the meantime, it is Maynard with the long pass up to Stack. Maloney inside. Stack again. 
draws the foul. And it's going to be a baseline ball. As presentation, Shirley are in the building here and getting ready for their big game in the next final of the day. Maloney, who's been so good for Abby Feel, and gets a great score there. Yeah, nice score there. I was just thinking that, like, if you are kind of Niall Toomey and Liz Maloney over there on the uh, Abby Feel sideline, like, uh, there's another huge three from Paul Kelly, but I don't think you would have set, like, if I was coaching their team, I don't think I would have set them up uh, very differently than they, they did set up. They were in a box of one, it was a smart decision. They've, they've moved the ball pretty well all game long, but just haven't been able to knock down enough shots. And then Paul Kelly's been able to hit some huge shots. I think he's on 35 now, which is which is really tough. And it's it, there's nothing you can really do when someone is just pulling up and hitting trees in your face. And the guys have done a good job being just beside him. They haven't given him anything too easy, but he's just of such a high caliber player that he's been able to punish them every time he does uh, take a shot. Alan Kelly at the other end. Great, great work by McNulty. For the Abbey Field, that is. The other thing, uh, really, uh, for uh, St. Paul's Uterard, like, obviously, you give a huge amount of credit to Paul because he is, like, obviously, a fantastic player. But when you look at the likes of Ryan Monaghan in particular, when things were getting a little bit hairy there in the third quarter, he was the one who hit the big three and he had another M1 as well and they're the kind of plays that ultimately can make the difference in a game this it wasn't it's a almost 20 point game now but uh, Abby Phil were right there in the mix right at that stage and uh, he did a huge job Ryan Monaghan of stepping up and making big plays Abby Feel. Stack. Lovely move by Stack and Maynard with the rebound. Good hands there from St. Paul's to knock it back out of their hands, but McNulty follows up and it's gone out for a baseline ball. Maloney's calling for it, it comes out to DJ Stack instead. Alan Kelly, oh, <laughs> what a pass. Oh, that was just brilliant there. From Alan Kelly up to Matthew Tierney and lovely flick on there. And that's definitely one for the highlights reel. Yeah, lovely stuff there. As Maynard responds for Abby Field. Yeah, Adam Maynard, lovely job there. I, I think, not to labor the point, but if you're Abby Field again, it's when you're coming up to a final like this, you want the other team to beat you rather than you to lose the game. And I, I think that's been the case, is that St. Paul's have come out and just been that little bit better. It's not any kind of thing that Abbey Field didn't do particularly well. It's more the case that St. Paul's just had that extra little bit today. And I don't think that the Abbey Field guy, obviously they're going to be dejected now, but when they look back at it in a while, it's going to be a case that, unfortunately, they played against a team that had a player who knocked down a lot of big shots at difficult times. But they are still battling so hard, McNulty. And Connor, that's why we keep you around, those little nuggets of wisdom. Ah, uh, sure, look. Also, uh, one of the big things in the second half for me is how well that Moulton sign has stayed back up. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. It's all thanks to Maura. And a shout out for a reminder for next week, the college's finals are on at Oblate Hall in Inchicore. Free admission to the games. There's set to be some cracking games. NUIG men, one of the favorites, of course, as always. So if you're around Dublin next week, be sure to drop in to Oblate Hall. We'll have more of that on the Basketball Ireland website 
once these school games finish. There is a, a technical foul there for hitting the ball away after the basket. It's one of those ones that is often worn, but you never really see it and may not really have been <laughs> hugely necessary. <laughs> Either way, St. Paul's, Paul Kelly missed that free throw and they have a possession now at the halfway line. 1.49 on the clock in this fourth quarter. Unlucky there for Joseph O'Flaherty. The ball just came off his foot and it's gone out for an Abbey field ball. And DJ Stack with the long shot. Again, McNulty somehow gets that rebound out of the air. It's gone out here now for a St. Paul's ball, but Abby Feel have had some really bright sparks today, Connor. Yeah, a lot of athletic guys, good athletes, and they've really kind of put themselves about today and really gave a good account of themselves. You have to commend Dermot Lee, though, on the St. Paul's uh, sideline as well. This is obviously the double now that they've done at under-19B level. Heading up to the A with Paul obviously still being young enough that hopefully they'll be able to contend with some of the big schools in the A division over the coming years. As Thomas O'Connell checks into the game for Abbey Field, 105 to go here in this fourth quarter. It's and what a game it's, it's been. It's great for these lads to be able to play up here in the National Basketball Arena. Some of them may not have played here before. Some may never play here again. So it's great for them to be able to play in front of their kind of the rest of their stu the students in their school. Paul Kelly again with that long shot. He's putting them up for fun at this stage. But what a score from DJ Stack for Abby Feel as it looks like we are headed for a timeout, are we? Yes, we are. We're headed for a timeout with 38.2 seconds to go here in quarter four. Thirty-eight point two seconds on the clock in this fourth quarter of the under nineteen B boys All Ireland final. Can or will St. Paul Duke Derard do the double? It looks like they will. <laughs> Unless T Mac walks yeah, in the door and seconds. has thirteen points in thirty seconds like he did before. It's not outside the realms of possibility. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Stay quiet, Connor. Stay quiet. Again, Abby Fields still working so hard. And one of the main stars of this day, Mark McCarthy, with a lovely layup to finish there. As 10 seconds to go, Alan Kelly for St. Paul Duke Durard runs around the key, draws the foul. It's going to be an inbound with 4.1 seconds as St. Paul's are ready ready to run on to the court
And that is the game here, folks. St. Paul's Uchterard are under 19B champions at the National Basketball Arena in Tala today with a 51 to 63 point win over Kalasha Ida August Yosef of Abbey Field. Big celebrations for them there in front of the crowd. Two teams just lining out there with each other as Jason Colleen, Jason Colleen, the Irish international, and indeed one of the stars of Black Amber Temple Oak. Getting ready to present the medals to the winning team, to both teams, in fact. Kalashe Idogis Yosef will be going up first to collect their silver medals. And what a game this has been. The scoreline doesn't reflect how close this game has been. Paul Kelly, the difference between the sides with some massive scoring. And here is Abby Field in front of that large, large school support who have been brilliant today. And it is Jared Maloney leading the way. As they go up, Louise O'Loughlin of Basketball Ireland also there, along with Jason, presenting the medals. With the coaches also heading up there to get their medals. And St. Paul's Uchterard up for their medals. The champions, the double champions, Subway Schools Cup champions and All-Ireland League champions. And their ladies team also warming up here, hoping to do the same in the next, in the next game as they face presentation of Charlie and County Kerry. A great achievement for this school. And another All-Ireland headed to Galway. The Bish picking up one yesterday as well in the under 19A. St. Joe's the Bish, that is. And now we have the MVP award. Thirty-seven points is number four, Paul Kelly. What a game he had. He is presented that award by Jason Colleen. And the cup will be given out to the captains, the co-captains. Alan Kelly and Tierney heading up to get this cup. 
Another bit of silverware headed to the school. And we will be back with you guys shortly. Tip off at one o'clock for the girls' final between St. Paul's and Presentation Tralee. So be sure to tune back in with us then.